Hi guys, it's Gav here from DancePlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. In today's video, me and my daughter are heading to the Scottish Open. Uh, we left Musselburgh a little while ago. Um, we got into Edinburgh. We've just got the Edinburgh train down to Bathgate and then we're getting picked up by Ted and we're driving to the Scottish Open. We're going to be catching up with Danny and Tracy from Team Darts and we'll try and get some footage as well to do some coverage on it. Not quite sure what we're allowed to do, so we'll have to play that one by ear. I just want to introduce you to my daughter who's going to be on the camera today. So a massive thank you to Ellie. Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm going to be filming Dad today. I'm really excited to go to the Scottish Open. Hopefully I'll meet a couple of players and I'm really excited. Everybody has a chance to play that enters, so, yeah. um, so anybody every, can enter at any level. Can't yeah, you? yeah, and, and then, you know, if they're lucky enough or, or unlucky enough, whichever you, way you see, some of them want to play guys like me, That's some, of them, some of them really think that, you know, this might be the only one they get to do all year, yeah. and they'll, they'll play you and beat them, because they're guys from locally and they play as well as I do, they just don't get on the circuit because they haven't got the finances to travel. Exactly. And we, and we come across this in every way we go, whether it's Wales, it's England, whether it's Holland, whether it's Wales, it's just we meet those guys that probably only come out once a year. Yeah. And it's a priceless opportunity to think, like I say, you can get the Jordan's year or Mark and, and, and actually have the people as well, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's really cool when you got like 10 oh, deep when you're winning. Yeah. You know, when you're beating people and people don't, but when, when you lose, it's, you know, it's always tough. But but it's good for those to lose. It it's good for them to see you lose now and again because we're just human. Yeah. We just, you know, I'm, I'm a farmer that throws a few darts and yeah. I've never denied being anything else. No, it's you know, it's not, it's not something you can't turn into a job. No. I just love it as a glorified hobby that it is. Yeah, a lot of my mates are farmers, obviously, know where we are. Do you know what I mean? It's like, what you mean? The, yeah, I've been doing that. So. Yeah, so Alexa Hendel used to come to my house and uh, we'd sit and have his breakfast. And then we maybe travelled to like, to Celsius, the England Open, which was another 600 miles or whatever. <laughs> and then we'd have breakfast and then he'd get in the car and I would drive so far down. And then Hendo And then Hendo would wake up and go, it's my turn to drive, and then he would drive. And we'd, yeah, it was great fun, great fun. So, and then and, uh, I played him uh, one year at the Finders Masters, uh, Sudden and Grand Masters, and he said to me, I'm going PDC. Yeah, go for it, bro. Because you're good enough, you're yeah. good enough. It's like, yeah, but. I was, I was his captain at the time, he says, yeah, I think you're the first person I should speak to. I went, oh, and I always, always will love John and his great to bits. Yeah. And He's done well to get to me. He's number 28 in the world now, isn't he? He's done really well over it, the PD. John's team. always been a fantastic dancer. Fantastic. I mean, he played World Cups, Europe Cups, Six Nations with Scotland, and you can always bet your house on John winning your leg or winning your mask. He was, it was an amazing player for Scotland, amazing. And it was actually quite heartbreaking when... When, when he went... No, not just any... Uh, when he went PDC, because the Scotland team then went, oh, we need to find another John Henderson. Yeah. Anderson. And you can't find another yeah. John Henderson. He was talking about his throw as well, his rocking throw. And oh, I said, rocking, it's all he all said that, No, he said, it's yeah. amazing if I do it. He said, but when it goes wrong, oh, yeah, he said, yeah, you don't yeah. want to see my we dog. Were play, we were playing a tournament one time down in, I think it was Kettering or, or something, and people were talking about we need a walk-on song for you. And, and they went, oh, hold on a minute, walking all over the world, mate. No, no, we'll call it walking all over the hockey. And it just stuck, it just stuck, and it was it was brilliant. It was, and as I say, every time he's playing PDC, I always say, I'll go back. Are you alright? How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Oh, it's Lisa Ashton's got yeah, a world champion. Yeah, 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 you're in the um, you're in video. live club video. <laughs> Lisa Ashton's got a... That is brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Well, listen, thank you. Thank you very I'd much. I'd love to have you come onto the show. It would be Definitely amazing. Just... We're going to get um, Ross onto the show on Darts Planet TV. So just give me a shout and we'll be there. Yeah, excellent. We'll have some fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank really. you. I've managed to get some players. I've got I had Hendo on and Chris Mason and Diego Portella. And I, and I went to Darts and Arts up here in an amazing place the other day. And, and I'm just having a buzz with it. And it's, I'd love to get you on the show maybe one time. If you want it, that would be good. Um, I'll just do it on Skype if we're miles away. Um, and I'll edit it all. I'm just making, and it just gives me a real buzz. And, you know, it's fun. It's fun. It is fun. It is fun. In it else. 
and Ellie always helped me out. And my wife was going to come today, but she had another massive seizure last night, so she couldn't get here. But tomorrow I've been invited to an exhibition. So we stay down in between Ipswich and Norwich. Um, we've been invited to an exhibition tomorrow, um, and she and Duke were there, and I've been to both those. So we're on the channel as so well. So, so I'm not a kid at Christmas. I just, <laughs> I just love anything darts. I just love it. But I'm useless. I'm used to say it. Uh, who did I meet the other day? I met when I went over to Peter's it's Darts Darts. I met a guy called um, Ryan Murray um, and another guy, um, Greg Witchin, and both sort of things. And my, my first start went right out the board. I got so nervous playing with a leg of darts against them. But it's, um, yeah, it's just fun. But what about you when you got on the test? Did you get that? How nervous? First time I ever played on TV, I couldn't even throw it out. I was that nervous. Yeah. But I just somehow managed to do it. And then since then, I'm used to it now. It doesn't bother me one little bit. You just get on with it. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. The, the crowd, the TV, the whole lot. Uh, even little tours like this, and anywhere I go, I love the tours. Up to the people watching it. I just can't imagine what it must be like to be really, really good at something. Like, be like the world number one. Is. Yeah, I'm still getting used to that. I'm like, wow, that's a bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's nice. Uh, knowing that I'm, all the great players in the video and that, uh, I think I'm number one. It's like, well, oh, me? Oh, oh, amazing. That's, that's weird to me. Yeah, but, I can't get my head down. I'm still, I'm still not from Coventry, you know, when he couldn't play that, so he's yeah. like, that's all I want to be. Yeah. I never think of myself as being one, but I'm going to put like that. Uh, that's great, it's incredible. Um, I love it, I'm really good. I was at the Guinness World Rep for 10 a couple of weekends ago in Jake's Hero in Aberdeen. Oh yeah, because when that how many hours was that? 60. 60 hours. They had set a target, I think, of 50 hours and two Germans beat the record about a week or so before. Because I've seen the line stream, I kept, I kept thinking on, on and yeah. off that I think, I still go on, it's unbelievable. They beat the record just before, about a week or so before. The attempt. Yeah. So they decided rather than just slightly beat it, they gave themselves a the cushion and made it six days. Wow. That's but, amazing. Um, Dave Matthew, he was kind of struggling. I thought he was going to be the stronger of the two. Yeah. For the left, because Lewis looked like he was too old. Um, is that my round? Bad, bad back, but Dave played in barefoot on the Saturday. Oh, right. So, of course, he lost the support on his feet. Yeah. So he, he kind of struggled after that. But yeah, 60 hours they did. Wow, how much did they raise in the end? <coughs> uh, I know the raffles are won, made about a thousand. They had a just given page, uh, they did two silent options, one was for an Archie Gables uh, framed photo, one was for an Archie Joshua framed photo. Oh wow. Um, they did a couple of other things to try and raise money. They had the uh, wristbands. Yeah, and stuff uh, like that. All the pin badges, badges, yeah. They were selling. And a lot of people, it was in a casino. Yeah. So you grab the bucket and you go down and go, hello. Yes. And Put some were, money in there. Put the money in. But a lot of guys actually wanted to talk about the prostate yeah. cancer as well. Yeah, which was really, really refreshing. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's such a stigma. Men are kind of proud. Yeah. And they don't. They hear what gets done with yeah. the exams yeah, and all exactly. that. Like, I don't want that. A lot of them that are under 50, it worried them that they can't be tested yeah. until they're 50. And they won't be being tested. They won't be able to get it earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 What Chelsea has done with Tim Brown. Oh, I think it's amazing. Superb. It's, it was nice to actually meet you in person because I've been chatting to yeah. Danny yeah. and Tracy for ages. And then, like I say, we was going to go home on on Friday and we decided that law wasn't well enough and there was these things. And I said, do you know what? I'm just going to make the most. He's up, and I met Ed, he's, he's a character, isn't he? Yeah. What a guy he is. Absolutely. Absolutely magic. But, I mean, this, this is the thing. I mean, I work with the PDC guys, I work with the PDO guys. Um, the setup for them is completely different. Yeah. PDC guys, they can't say what they've got score uh, or winning a game. Uh, BDO guys, they can relax and have a, have a drink, not at the hockey. Yeah. But 
they can celebrate what they get, and they get. I mean, there's, there's such where's a Newton, huge difference. Where's Newton's come back across, and he said it's fantastic, and that he can just relax, he's able and, to enjoy. relax and enjoy stuff. Yeah. Yes, and he's travelling with guys that. It's not yeah. Guys, I'm now home from the Scottish Open. It's gone quarter past 11. What an awesome day it was. Thank you so much to Ted for introducing me to so many players today. I've got loads lined up coming on to the show, as you know. I've got another busy day tomorrow. I'm off to exhibition where I'm going to be interviewing Dieter Hedman and Trina Gulliver. They're both going to be coming on the show. I'm hoping to have a leg of darts against both them as well. So do keep an eye out for them videos. As well as that, keep an eye out for another video. I've got to do something very, very special um, at the end of today and it is well worth checking out. The video will either go live tomorrow or the next day. Apart from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, don't forget to turn your notifications on and subscribe to the channel. That's all for this video. What an awesome day. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.